I don't care what your religious beliefs are or anything. If you have a dick, you need to shut the fuck up on this one. Seriously. This is theirs. The right to choose is their unequivocal right. Not only do I believe they have the right to choose, I believe that they shouldn't have to consult anybody except for a physician about how they exercise that right. Gentlemen, that is fair. And ladies, to be fair to us, I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. That's fair. If you can kill this motherfucker, I can at least abandon him. It's my money, my choice. And what I think the feminist movement needs to be very successful is a male leader. I'll do it. I will, I will lead you women to the promised land. I will make sure you get equal pay, equal work. I will make sure that nobody harasses you or fucks with you on the job. I will protect all of your interests. And all that I ask for in return is that you suck my dick. <laughs> and now we're right back to square one, aren't we? I Googled the dictionary definition of a feminist just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Webster's defines a feminist as a human being, not a woman, a human being that believes in equal rights for women. I was shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, I would consider myself a feminist. And I didn't even know that at the time. All these years, I thought it meant frumpy dyke. <laughs> well, that's who's always talking to be some chicken overalls. Men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. We please. Hey, you know what show I used to like to watch when I was little, though? Was that old Batman TV show. I used to think that was so cool, man. But I was watching it the other day, and it hit me. Kapow! <laughs> Batman never fights crime in neighborhoods that need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, really, man? I mean, I would like to see Batman fight crime in my neighborhood, all right? And I could see him there just... Robin. Yes, Batman. Didn't we park the car right here, man? It's that kind of neighborhood. Caitlyn Jenner, whom I've met, wonderful person, Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. Her first year as a woman. Ain't that something? Beat every bitch in Detroit, she's better than all of you. Never even had a period, ain't that something? Oh, I'd be mad as shit if I was a woman. I'd be mad if I was me. If I was in a BET Awards sitting there and they're like, and the winner for nigger of the year, Eminem, my man. You know, America has a racial hot seat. I think we can all agree that that's the truth. And we can also agree that that hot seat is traditionally occupied by African-Americans in general African-American men in particular. Although I can see that in recent years, that seat has been occupied by, by Mexicans, and I dare say Arabs. And we, the black Americans, would like to thank you both for your sacrifice and your struggle. <laughs> we needed a break. We needed a goddamn break. We all go through something, but at least I can leave my backpack someplace. <laughs> if you Arab and forget the backpack, you got about 20 minutes 
before they send that robot to blow your shit up. <laughs> she says, my daughter is coming home for the holidays. Go, oh, that's great news. I'm glad you're not going to be alone. And then she goes on and on about how great her daughter is. I guess her daughter got a new agent. And she's out in Hollywood. She's in movies and on television and all this stuff. And as she's telling me this, I'm thinking, this woman is so sweet. She probably doesn't even know who I am or what I do for a living. Because I know what your daughter's out in Hollywood doing. <laughs> and then she goes, would you like to see her picture? Oh, now I don't want to see this woman's picture, but what am I going to do? I go, okay, yeah, sure, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to see the picture. And, and I grab the picture, and this is all I say. This is all I say. <gasps> She's very beautiful. And as she puts the picture away, she, she looks mean all of a sudden, like she caught me in some kind of trap. What does that face mean? And then she goes, she's transgender. <laughs> and I think to myself, oh, this bitch does know who I am. <laughs>
trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle, that's the plan For a cleaner, greener earth, let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand but it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our act, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Hurry up, nigga, I have other meetings to do <laughs> I have a 4.30 a.m. at Brett Ratner's house and, uh, <laughs> I believe it's wardrobe fitting <laughs>